Hello everyone, good morning, how are we? Today we're at Waterloo Station as you may have seen we saw our train arriving in. Today is part number 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5, um, of uh, our crossings of the River Thames. Today is going to see us heading westwards. Um, the 211 as you can see here, this bus will be our very, very first crossing today. As a 375 passes us. Um, yeah, we're going to be heading westwards, so hopefully going through um, the likes of Chelsea, Fulham today, and see how far we get. Like a route master, sir, not like a proper route master, not one of the newfangled ones. That one's actually going across to where we want to go, but those buses, I'm not actually too sure, too sure how much the tickets are. I highly doubt they take Oyster, um, so we're going to stick with our bus today. Although it would be very, very nice to go on one. It's quite rare to see a Gemini 3 on the 211 anyway. It's always like most buses in central London at the moment. At 10 o'clock on a weekday, it is pretty much empty. <laughs> Lots of famous attractions you can see around here. Not, not, not one of the worst views you can see on a bus from London, particularly on a very sunny day. Right, already quite busy everywhere with tourists of selfie sticks walking around, queuing for the um, ridiculous <laughs> um, open top tour buses. Anyway, we're getting up there, aren't we? Just to get across the bridge. That is our first crossing completed. A very, very stereotypical London landscape here. So yes, Westminster, home of uh, the big clock and Mr. Sunak's house, London Eye in the background as well. Um, what are we going to do from here? From here we are going to get the number three bus. Um, that's right, the third numerical route in London. Uh, from a stop which I haven't quite figured out where it is yet. And we're going to do our next crossing of the River Thames. I don't often see this corner of the Houses of Parliament here. We are on um, Allington Street to catch our free. I'm being quick here because after we miss this one, the next bus will be in 20 minutes, so I have to be quick. I don't think I've ever been to Westminster and not had to give directions to tourists. Anyway, here's our free bus which we are going to be taking across Lambeth Bridge, which will be our next crossing. Whoa, the camera's a bit askew, isn't it? We'll fix that in a minute. to Crystal Palace, although we won't be going nearly that far. Lambeth Bridge. Looking down towards Battersea down there. And looking over towards Westminster and Waterloo there. One of London's more underrated bridges in my opinion. Bye bye, free off we go to Crystal Palace. We're going to find a bus stop, a mystery bus stop just down the road from here, which will allow us to complete our next crossing of the River Thames. Have a guess which one that will be. I'll give you a clue. It shares a name with a tube station. That's just verging behind this coach here is going to be our next bus, the 360, which is going to take us across our next crossing. Have you worked out what it is yet? One of the lovely electric buses. Yeah. Oh, they've fitted them with screens. I never knew these ones had screens. That's cool. It's the Circle Line and the Jubilee Line have got minor delays. Oh dear. Welcome to Pimlico Station. 
From here, we're going to get the Victoria Line back over to Vauxhall where we were one minute ago to complete our next crossing of the River Thames. Vauxhall Bridge is very slightly east of the Victoria Line tunnels, hence why we're doing uh, that one first. The... Oh, it didn't work. There we go. As we descend uh, platforms onto the Victoria Line, the um, busiest uh, transit system in the world, as in having a train every 45 seconds, which is absolutely incredible. And of course we don't even have to wait a minute for our Victoria Line train once we get down onto the platform. A brilliant place to catch lots of tube trains here because there's hardly anyone on the platform. Here comes our train which will be taking one stop down the line to Vauxhall. Station. And welcome to Vauxhall. We've just completed another crossing of the River Thames, ladies and gentlemen, the Victoria Line. We're going to head back northwards uh, to Victoria now. In fact, I'm just going to check something quickly. Hang on. Indeed, we're getting the Victoria Line back across the river to London Victoria. And I say London Victoria, that might give you a clue of what we're doing next. Change here for national rail services. This station has debt free access. This is a Victoria Line train to Waterstone. Mind the gap, please. National Rail is what we're looking for. Alright, next train to Battersea Park, which where we're going next is going to be at 10.50. Bottom for platform 9. I'm still in love with these boxer boards here, they're so nice. There it is, 377-306, except we probably don't want to be at the rear of the unit today. Um, because that would mean we'll be uh, right at the back once we get to Battersea Park. 377-434. One of the refurbished units, should we take a look inside? Here for a 377. Got plug sockets. 377s didn't used to have these. And second of all, we have these lovely screens at the end of every carriage just displaying uh, important train information. Should we sit here? Sit here. On the clock, we're ready for departure. Racing a 7465, 466, sorry, departing out the station at exactly the same time as us. Yep, Express sitting just over there, but they did throw me some more uh, um, clueless tourists over to the airport. If you are trying to get with airport, don't travel on Gatwick Express. 466 is actually going to Grosvenor Carriage Sidings here. Everything is called Grosvenor around here. Grosvenor Road, Grosvenor Incline, this is the Grosvenor Incline here. Um, one of the steepest gradients on the Brighton, in fact it is the steepest gradient on the Brighton Main Line. Bassey Power Station in the background as well. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here's the River Thames, River Thames. That's down towards Bassey down there, you can see the American Embassy. Trains blocking up to the east, unfortunately, that was quick. We are already over the river. Uh, the southeastern lines towards Denmark Hill and Bromley South diverge off in that direction. We are already approaching Battersea Park. <laughs> Battersea Dogs and Cats home down there. Welcome to Battersea Park, everyone. Quite an old-fashioned station. Um, doesn't need a little bit of TLC, I think. But anyway, what are we doing from here? As our London Bridge train departs, we need to find a bus stop to do a complete our next crossing of the River Thames. So our next bus is the 137, one of the 
newer series of uh, Root Monsters. Which we're going to get over. We need to get over our next crossing of the Thames. 137. So the Thames here, isn't it? It's definitely narrower than it was at uh, Woolwich earlier. This is Chelsea Bridge. So we are in, properly in Chelsea, West London now. Let me go across. Heading to looking to our west. And you can see Battersea and all that is to our east now. We are quite far west now. And this is our stop. Of our 137, there's a 360 <laughs> that we saw earlier. Really here is the Lister Hospital, the so called name of the stop. Batty power stations, cooling towers in the distance. Uh, our next bridge, we're not going to, uh, which we're going to go to, or that we are going to go to, that we're not going to go to, um, is not accessible by public transport, at least to the bridge itself. So we're going to have to walk across the Albert embankment. Be interesting. Is it just me or is the water flowing west today? The Thames is supposed to flow towards the east, towards the sea. At the moment it's flowing back towards the mountains. How does that work? Right, this little black pier thing here does not count as crossing the River Thames because it does not cross the whole Thames. We're crossing the one behind it. Albert Bridge. In comparison to all the other road bridges I've been on, this isn't a particularly busy one today, is it? It's quite a nice one, though. I'm going to have to do the old style thing today and walk across the bridge because I don't believe any public transport goes across Albert Bridge itself. The Thames is still quite wide, though, isn't it? It's Albert Bridge, I think. Has something to do with um, Queen Victoria's husband, Prince Albert. Maybe it was built for him. Maybe it was built on his legacy. I don't know. But uh, nevertheless, we are now at the southern end of the bridge, the borough of Wandsworth, the brighter borough. We should see a distinct change in light intensity here, then, as we cross this sign. Whoa, that's bright. Well, the next bus, the 170, which we're going to be getting across. Our next crossing of the river, Battersea Bridge. Victoria. I've, every single time I've been to um, Battersea Bridge, there's always been traffic on it. Next door, Albert Bridge is probably a lot better if we're coming across by car. Look very nice bridge, does it? Here we are at both its streets. That bus has seen better days, I think. Anyway, we've got another long, long, long walk now. I'll see if we might even be able to rent a bike. Um, it'll take us down to Imperial Wharf Station. You can probably guess from there what our next crossing will be. So it's, the, it's the bridge between Imperial Wharf and Clapham Junction on the London Overground. Oh, that was nice. Down to the bike ride, there. By far the best way to go travel long distances uh, in London. We just arrived here at Imperial Wharf Station. That cycling saved me about. 35 minutes of walking, it took me about 10 minutes to cycle, so that's brilliant. Our train is at 12.02, 12.02 to Clapham Junction will be our train. Imperial Wharf, um, as you may know, is one of London's... Oh, this one's got a white number on the back, that's interesting. It says it in white, 37225. Imperial Wharf is one of London's newest stations, opened in 2009, so about 14, 15 years ago. It looks fairly modern, doesn't it? This is a very trendy area of London, this. 
comes on London Overground train, which will take us one stop down to Clapham Junction. I think we can safely say that we are outside of central London now, and we are heading west. We are heading probably west now. 378, 211. Taking us to Clapham. One of the pretend adventure units, I just got a nameplate, Gary Hunter. Not entirely sure who Gary Hunter is, but I'm sure he was worthy enough of the nameplate. Hang on. I didn't see that. The Thames is so narrow, I didn't even notice we crossed the river. We're already on our approach to Gotham Junction, but we did indeed cross over um, the River Thames um, on a bridge known as the Cremorne Bridge. I'll try and get a picture up for you now. And that's when the London Overground was extended here in like 2011, 2012, that that bridge saw proper service. Before that, it was served by Southern. Indeed, Clapham Junction, our final stop. This train has come all the way from Stratford and is finally terminating here. Clapham Junction is the busiest railway station in the UK in terms of the number of trains that pass through here, being served by three operators, Southern, South Western Railway and London Newgrounds. Both on their cool main line, it does get very, very busy. Welcome to Clapham Junction. I don't think I've been out this side of Clapham Junction before. There's a bus terminal here. We've got C3. 295 and 39 all waiting here patiently for their next duties as another 39 comes in. And we've also got a brand new electric bus. 295 taking us over to Fulham, Fulham Broadway. Oh this is really stylish, look at this! This is insane. It's like a coach interior. Good job, RSGP. It's not quite as high spec as Abellio's ones. You may have seen Abellio's. Also, really high spec electric buses. How's that for a view? 707 and a 377 and 701 sitting in the siding spec. Can you just about see that? The train and SWR livery. That's a 701, I believe. We've got the tracks, so the separation point on the Brighton main line and the southwestern main line here as well. We're just about to cross Wandsworth Bridge, our next crossing of the River Thames on board this lovely bus. A pleasant bus road actually off the 295 uh, here at where are we? Fulham Broadway. Which is where I think I'm going to finish um, this part of Mission Thames. It's been so fun to record. Um, I've been summoned to the Natural History Museum. Um, I, I'm not too sure why, but I'll, I will um, need to head off there, so we'll be finishing today. Um, got plenty, plenty, plenty more crossings with. I don't think we're even halfway down the Thames in terms of the number of crossings. So stay tuned for part 6 which I'm sure will be out very very soon. And I'll see you guys next time.